Okay, so originally I was going to do this video on just the nameless RC all-in-one border. This is the new all-in-one uh, F, uh, I guess the 412T, and uh, I'll explain the T versus the non-T here in a second. Uh, however, this uh, new beta FPV board also showed up, and I believe this is a, a complete copy of the nameless RC board, if I uh, saw the postings on Facebook correctly. Uh, but yeah, this one showed up, I think, the same day as the nameless RC one. So, I don't know how beta FPV was able to copy it so quickly but these guys are they're, they're so good now everyone is so good at copying things they're so fast um, I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if this actually came from the same factory but I don't know that we'll take the look at the boards here take them out and we'll compare them but uh, layouts and everything seem to be the same on the uh, two boards from the pictures I've seen but now that I have them in hand we can actually look at them and see for ourselves what the differences are Okay, so we've got the uh, stuff out of the uh, box here, and we do get some basic, same basic things here as uh, noted in a lot of, uh, I guess, postings. These don't have the pin connectors on there, and you can see here that these, for the Beta FPV ones, are look like they're right angled, and also for the, uh, yeah, for the all-in-one, uh, for the Nameless RC, also right angled. So, so instead of the plugs going straight up, they're going to be off at right angle and off to the side just like the USB port, which I think that's what the T stands for. It's indicating that the, everything is going off to the side instead of straight up and down, which will make uh, for easier builds. So the Nameless RC one doesn't have the capacitor pre-soldered. So this is the capacitor that's included here. And this is a 470 microfarad 25 volt. And I believe the one on the Beta FPV is, or, you know, as you can see, is pre-soldered on here. It's a, I think it's a 220 microfarad uh, 25 volt but it's a pretty similar size um, I'm not sure why they went with a different size uh, capacitor but you can see here the boards are similar looking let's put them side by side you can see that the, the where they mount here there's uh, I guess they, they made a different PCB where the holes are actually closed and that'll keep the grommets in place that's interesting so I guess they copied the layout and maybe made some slight improvements to the board itself. The board is definitely a little bigger and I'm pretty sure it's going to be heavier. And here's a look at the thickness of the PCB. Pretty similar as well. But yeah, you can see the well, it looks like the layout is a little bit different on here on the side. So you see the 5 volts over here on the Nameless RC versus uh, the different pads here. So this layout's a little bit different. Uh, the boot, bootloader button's right there on the Beta FPV board, and it's over here on the Nameless RC board. The OSD chip and MCU, the CPU's in the same spot. Uh, get some FETs on this side and this side here, but they're not on the Nameless RC board. Yeah, they're very interesting. So it's similar, but it's not an exact copy actually. It's like they basically. Um, are using the same concept of the sideways USB port and also the sideways um, motor plugs. If you look at the compare the layouts here as well, yeah, they're actually they are quite a bit different. Uh, so I, when I guess I saw the f first pictures, I didn't really look at them side by side. Just I just looked at the shape of the boards and the, where the USB plugs were, and they look pretty close. So I just assumed that they were the same, but they're in fact not the same at all. And then, if we look at the bottom here, let's see where the power plug comes out. Yeah, so the the layouts and the, of the chips and everything are totally different between the two boards. But they are using some of the same concepts with the bigger uh, soldering points for the motor wires. So you can, yeah, this is actually what I prefer, is to solder, direct solder my motor wires versus using the plugs. So that's, that's they're using the same idea on both boards here. You can see here the layout by Kebab FPV. Um, yeah, there's some controversy around that. You can ask him if you want to get details on what happened. I, I think that the layout might have been sent to Beta FPV by accident or something like that. From what, at least that's what I've heard about. But if they if they got the layout, I don't know, they, it looks like they kind of changed things up between the Nameless RC and the Beta FPV. It looks very, very different actually.
All right, so let's just here look at the weights of these two. So this is with the capacitor and the heat shrink. The BFPV is coming at 9.62 grams, and then the Nameless RC, uh, no capacitor, and no heat shrink, is coming at about seven, a little like 7.1 grams. And then we throw on the capacitor, we're coming at 8.24 grams. It's a little bit lighter. Okay, so since the layouts are a little bit different, let's look at the boards individually. So this is the Nameless RC one. Now, it's interesting that Beta FPV is uh, giving credit to Kebab FPV on the design of the board, but there's no credit given on this board, which is the one that should have been given on, but it's on the other one. Anyway, this is the uh, AO, AIO 412T version 1.0. I possible the newer version may already be out by the time you see this video, so you want to check the link. But you can see we have nice solder points for all of our uh, connections. And see the main receiver connection is going to be over here. This is going to be UART1 on these pads here. And the thing that you want to pay attention to is we have an RC pad here and an INRC pad. So this is inverted S bus here, and this is non-inverted uh, on the on the UART. So if you're using Crossfire you got, or, or DSM, uh, Spectrum, or IBUS, you want to use the non-inverted RC. And if you have SBUS like FreeSky or anything that's using an inverted SBUS, use the inverted RC pad. You have a 3.3 volt pad here. This this pad here is uh, the TX, this is the RX, and this is ground. This is a 4.5 to 5 volt output over here. And then this pad here will get power if you plug in via USB. So if you power your receiver here, uh, it will get power via just USB only. Okay, something that's interesting to note is that all of these pads are also on the bottom, it looks like. So you can see here you have a, the buzzer negative, and that corresponds to this one here. So I think all of these pads here are on the top have a corresponding pad also on the bottom if you prefer to solder from the underside. But of course, only they're only labeled on the top side. So it's kind of nice that they have both options. So the connections on the Beta FPV board seem to be a little bit different. Uh, so they do have some diagrams on their uh, product page on how to wire up the different receivers. But uh, basically, let's see, it's going to be over here yeah, on these pads over here. So you have, uh, they're using T2 and R2 uh, for the receiver. So it's going to be on UR2. So you have TX2. And then over here it's, it says R2. That's RX2. This one here is the uninverted one, so this is the one that's going to be for your um, uh, Crossfire, uh, Spectrum, and IBUS uh, FlySky receivers. And then the uh, inverted pad is going to be over here, which says SBUS. And then this FP is for F port. If you have a, one of those uh, FreeSky receivers that uh, you want to run F port on, that's for that pad. And then you have ground 5 volts here, and then a 3.3 volt pad here. So this, this is totally different from the way the Nameless RC board is doing their receiver connections. And then the UART for smart audio is over here on these set of pads. And that's going to be T1 there. That's going to be for, that's on UART1. That's going to be for your smart audio. You have ground 5 volts video in, or sorry, video out, video in, and their 5 volts. This is going to be for your video transmitter and camera connections here. And I believe this also has the same 5 volt, 2 and a half amp um, uh, voltage regulator. So it should be able to handle all of your big devices. And then on the other side here, we have your LED 5 volt ground and buzzer connections. And on the underside of the board here, unlike the nameless RC board, there are no connections that also correspond to the ones on top. Like the nameless RC board will let you connect either on the top or the bottom. And this, the beta FPV, FPV board only allows you for connecting on the solar pads on the top of the board. So that's another difference there as well. So quite a few differences. Obviously, there's, there's similar, and but there's a lot of differences as well. So I think performance is going to be quite a bit different as well. Um, yeah, so I think uh, I'm going to have a drone pretty soon here with this one already, and I actually have it already, but I can't put that video out yet. But so you'll see probably see this one in action first. I don't have a drone with this one in it yet, so I'll have to do a build out. You'll see this one coming up a little bit later. But I think, yeah, the question that people had is, are these the same? Um, yeah, it turns out these actually are quite a bit different. Um, obviously, they have sort of the same sort of design philosophy, but there's quite enough differences here to say that these are actually pretty different boards and are probably going to perform differently as well. So, in terms of whether or not one's good or better or not, that I guess we'll find out in a future video. 
any of you guys if you have any questions let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one